So in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, enabling variables to be assigned to other variables. So the moment we can assign a variable to an expression, we can assign a variable to a string, and we can assign a variable to a number. But we can't, for example, assign if we had a variable called test to another variable called Francis, for example. So that's what we're going to be learning how to do in this video. So if you look here on the uh, Wikipedia page, you can see we can assign a variable to another variable. They have assigned it to a variable and then they're appending something on to the uh, new value. But for the moment, we're going to be just assigning it to another variable, the same way as, have, as they have done here. So uh, let's just go into basic.py and all we have to do is change our parser. So we can, down here you can see we can assign it to a string, a number or an expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, copy this. Whoops, actually I just want to, actually yeah that's right. So we'll just paste it in here. And I want to set this equal to var. So what we do is we just take the first three characters again because we want to get the word var. And what we do is we go down here and we copy one of these. And I change this to var. And the only thing that's different is we want to first assign. Um, we want to still do the, the assign, but then what we want to do is we want to we want to do a lockup at the same time. So we want to uh, say get variable, and we want to pass it this um, string, which is the variable name, um, which is the set of variable name of the second variable. So for example. Uh, if I go here, I'll just get rid of all this, and I'll say var1 uh, equals 10, and I'll say var2 equals var1. So this is what we want to do. So this is be the first variable, and this is the second one. So the second variable is this. This is what we're passing to um, the get variable uh, function, and what the get variable function returns is the value of that variable and if it's not found it'll return variable error undefined variable uh, and what we'll also do then is exit because that way then the, uh, the whole program will stop running so what we're going to do is we're just going to run that now so I'll run that and it freezes okay the reason it freezes is we uh, copied it wrong so I'm just going to get rid of that and I have to copy this whole section, not just the second part of it. So we'll just change this one, this one part and change this to var, and that should work now. So as you can see, uh, we get 14 in Francis, and uh, that's because we didn't save it, so if we run this now, we get no output because we didn't tell it to print anything, so if we print var1 to begin with, we should get 10. If we print var2, we'll also get 10. And if I say 10, let's say 16, uh, we'll get 16 as well. So there we have it. We can now assign variables to other variables. We can assign them to strings, numbers, and expressions as well. So we just go into our checklist and then uh, check that as done. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and follow us on Google+. And I'll see you next time.